Welcome back to Elvis Fans Matter. And we're going to uh, jump around again, tell some little short stories. Uh, I, I, on the plane, a lot of times we were traveling on the plane and all we'd, uh, you know, uh, find different things to do, you know, mostly we played cards. And I know uh, one time we were on the plane and Lamar had just had his bypass surgery and uh, of course poor Lamar and all that kept him going to the bathroom. He lived constantly. in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and it finally got to a point where everybody, you know, saying, how mighty Lamar, do you stay in that bathroom? He said, I can't help it, man. I can't help it. Mm -hmm. I said, well, we can't help it either. It's going to go stinking around here, if, you know, if you don't. <laughs> Lamar was so funny, though. He, but he I, was a character. He was. <laughs> I remember him saying, um, this is the first time in I don't know how long that I could wear jeans. Yep. I, he was so proud of losing that weight, and he was so jolly and happy. And you had to know Lamar. Lamar was just, mm, Lamar was the most dramatic <laughs> yep. person, uh, like a, a, a twig could fall off of a, of a branch of a bush or something, and by the time Lamar got through with it, it was the tree had fell on the house and caved it in, yeah. and he broke, <laughs> broke his arm, or you know, so that's how Lamar was. <laughs> but uh, we uh, we did a lot of, a lot of time, you know, uh, they would play cards. I, I didn't get a chance to play very much because most time I was back with Elvis, you know, and we were would be talking, you know, and about different things. And a lot of the guys played that. Uh, um, what was it? Uh, they carried the little case and they had those backgammon. Backgammon. backgammon they played yeah. backgammon. Mm -hmm. Me and Billy and uh, Dick and Sam sat in that. Booths and we played hearts, mm -hmm. and what else? We played hearts. We played hearts all the way to Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> all, all the way back. And after every show, we would sit in that booth and play play cards. Uh, that that passed the time, and it was fun. And, and yeah. they were crazy. Those two were crazy. They were those. They were real good friends, and and um. um had they did the security together a lot and we just uh of course linda sam being linda's brother we we he clicked with us yeah. you know dick was a likable yeah. <laughs> to to some people he was no <laughs> he just had a strange sense of humor but um we had a blast in the yeah. and carol and um carol and elwood and Ron and what was the Jim? Jim. Mm -hmm. They were great. They were a great crew. Carol was just Carol was the stewardess, and um, she just uh, she was she was great on there. Yeah. She um, she would ask you in the very beginning if you were going on the tour, what you like to drink, what you like to eat, and all that. And by the time the the show was over, she had. Everybody, where she knew where we usually sit, and she would have everybody's drink set. What and like she would go out and shop for what I always drink tab mm -hmm. back in yeah. those days. Tab was my <laughs> so she always had a tab sitting right there at the table for me, and um, it made the flights um, quicker seem like, yeah, seem mm -hmm. like. And quicker. boy, she didn't forget anything. No, Carol she never was, forgot uh... anything, she was great. <laughs> all that, all that crew was great, <coughs> all of them. Excuse me. That reminds me of, I think I've told the story before, but uh, it was such a funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hydraulics went out on the right side of the plane. Well, what that is, right. is you know, it, it lifts the wheel and the body of the plane up, you know. And uh, that side had gone out, and of course it made the plane set lower on one side than the other one. But anyway, it had it had gone out there in flight, and so Elwood, he called me up there and he said, look, he said, man, he said, 
tell Elvis this might be a little, uh, a little, you know, uncomfortable little boppy. He said, uh, you know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna land her as smooth as I possibly can. And uh, he said, but you know, just tell him. So <laughs> I went back in. I told Elvis and and all. He said, uh, he said, Elwood, he'll 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 take care of it. He said, I'll. I'll be braced, he said, but you know, I, I think he'll be all right. And he said, you know, nothing to worry about. And Elvis had to assure everybody that everything was going to be fine, you know. Yeah. Well, anyway, we come in and we landed, <laughs> and you couldn't have told that, nope. that anything was wrong. But I couldn't resist it, and Elwood said, Man, he said, he said, did, did Elvis say anything about that landing? I said, after he got up off the floor where you rolled him out of the bed and all, I said, <laughs> he said, yeah, he said, you know, what the hell is happening? And I, I, tried, I tried to keep a straight face and Elvis said, oh no, he said, really? He said, is he okay? Is he mad? I, I couldn't help it. I said, hell, what are you? I said, we didn't even know anything was wrong. I said, if, if it was something, a bomb, we didn't feel it. I, I yeah. said, Elvis, you know, he was, uh, he never did say a word. He just, you know, went on like nothing ever happened because no. we, we didn't even feel it. We didn't know it. We and didn't boy, it. But <laughs> Elwood had got really uptight, boy. <laughs> And I, I felt bad after doing that to him, but I could, at the time I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> You're talking about uh, a good crew, but they were funny. They were, yeah, you know, they, they were, were. They joined in. They, they joined in, in on everything. Elwood was was so funny. I know one time when we went to Palm Springs, um, Alicia Elvis had asked me to take Alicia up in the cockpit and you know let her see the. So Alicia and I went up in the cockpit and. Um, Ron and and Elwood and Jim Manny he was the um, uh, what did, what would did he, he had a title I kept uh, Ron was, he was a navigator navigator Ron was the co-pilot Elwood was the pilot and we were up there and they were sitting and and um, we were looking out I mean it, it's amazing to look out from the cockpit out into the open sky and Elwood leaned up like this and he said. Ron, do you know where we are? And Ron said, "No." He said, "I haven't seen any signs or anything." <laughs> and I, like, it'd yeah, like it'd be roadside, there, yeah. And Alicia's looking, and you know, we were, <laughs> and I knew what they were doing because they had done that to me before. Anyway, he said, "God, I don't know." He said, "I, I hope we come across something in a little bit that's familiar, or else I don't know where we're gonna wind up." <laughs> He said, you see any lights or anything? Let me know. <laughs> but they were always doing some stuff like that. Billy, um, they teased, uh, Elwood was real short, actually shorter than Billy. <laughs> to, no, I to, <laughs> the short joke. To, to operate a big, I'll never forget when, when Elvis introduced us to it, to us, him to us, and I, I, before I even thought, I said, he's kind of short, isn't he? I mean, to be... How I was, can he see where we're going? Yeah. I, <laughs> to fly that big plane, and Elvis said, oh, don't, he said, you don't have to worry about it. He said, I've got big blocks like this on the controls where I can reach them. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but they, he was funny as he could be. All of them were. They were great guys. But like he said, he said, you know, he said, we land by, you know. Uh, yeah. What they tell us, and you all know, from the tower, and he said, we don't actually see anything till we actually sat down. <laughs> remember that remember that time in Pittsburgh when we had we had a bomb threat and um it was the New Year's Eve show that mm -hmm. we were getting ready to leave from. Elvis decided he wanted to leave. Well they didn't uh usually they had, you know, advance warning when he wanted to leave and they got the plane ready and thing. But anyway the the runway was like frozen and we were in Pittsburgh and um I remember uh, them saying, you know, we have the bomb, we have that bomb threat, and uh, we got to check the plane. We got to check the plane, and uh, it was. Fr and we got to let it warm up. And Elvis said, "I want to go right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not 
you know, I don't care about anything else. And they said, but, you know, we have a, a bomb threat. He said, hell, <laughs> it, at least if it, it would give us a little heat <laughs> if it blew up. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, you know. He said, I'd rather, I'd, I'd just seem to blow up. It was the freeze to death. death. <laughs> but, but we did get off but the... They, we, yeah, they had to search it. That was uh, uh, standard, you know. Even it was though, just a, a fake yeah. bomb threat, but we did have that, which that's the only time I can remember that we only had anything I like that. Had anything like but it, I think it's time. what it was, is they were hoping he would get off the plane so that they could see him, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, that's what it was, but he didn't. He wouldn't get off. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, it was all kinds of crazy things that, that we did on that. We did and all, and we... We'll continue talking about different things as we go along, and but we'll but we'll let this one wind this one up too. Yep. And just remember, what do we always say? Elvis fans matter. matter. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.